Easy money's got us into this mess, so naturally Washington's looking at an easy money policy to get us out. The head of the president's jobs council wants the government to backstop more small business loans. That would generally make it easier for them to get cash. It also means that if they don't pay, we'll be the ones footing the bill. Republican Wyoming Senator John Barrasso says it's a bad idea throwing good money after bad. So you're not a fan of that. Well, I'm not. You know, when I talk to small business owners, they're not looking for a loan. They want to be left alone. They want to be left alone by a government with all of its mandates, which increase the costs, and whether it's the health care mandate, where they have to mandatorily provide insurance, uh, that's a cost. Energy costs are continuing to go up. We're becoming more and more dependent on foreign sources of energy because we're not allowed to explore here. The red tape continues, and the president had his meeting in North Carolina today. You know, it seems like it was news to the president that actually it takes a while to get permits from the government. Uh, that, it just uh, sounds to me, though, Senator, that whatever is being advised, um, whether this trip to North Carolina today, also, it's kind of more the same, maybe with different stripes and colors and all. But um, the president says when Republicans have it their way, it's just tax cuts, and he goes back to the Bush years. You remember what a treat that was. What happens now? Well, the president isn't connecting the dots that it's his bad policies that are putting a wet blanket on the economy. He says it would be, for screwing up that analogy, an even more wet blanket if he didn't do what he did. Well, I, you know, I fundamentally disagree. We need yeah. to increase revenue in this country, and we do it by getting a robust jobs. And how do you do that? Just take the regulations away, cut their well, taxes? Well, 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 you explore for more energy. You become more energy self-sufficient. That alone would do it. Well, you, cheaper energy would make a big difference. I mean, the one thing you can do to help. But it would take years cheap, to get the oil. Cheap is, is cheaper energy is one. You get rid of the mandates through the Obama health care law. Uh, those are the sorts of things. And the regulations are off. The Environmental Protection Agency, Wall Street Journal editorial today, the job killing EPA. It is the, these new regulations which are going to add to the cost of people's electricity at home and small business electricity, the largest, most expensive regulations in the history of the environmental protection. Well, let me ask you this, Senator. I know you were in the, in the green room with Bob Beckel, so you probably didn't have a chance to hear what's going on in the air. I kid. Uh, <laughs> well, he was raised, uh, 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 Bob Crandall was raising the point, we do need regulation and we do need oversight and we wouldn't quibble about it to protect us from things like E. coli or getting abused by nefarious companies. They do serve a role and a purpose, and Republicans shouldn't be so hot to drop to destroy them. What do you say? Well, reasonable regulations. I think that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a way to take a look at it. But the regulations that are coming out of the Environmental Protection Agency really are job-killing regulations. are going to add to the cost of doing business, which is why so many businesses are going overseas. Jobs are going overseas. You look at the, the president's so-called competitive group that met today, how many jobs from those companies have actually gone overseas and they're there advising the president? Uh, the, the permits that he was talking about, making it easier for permits, they need something like the NBA 24 second shot uh, <laughs> in, in terms of a, either, you get, either you're going to get a permit or you're not. Not this wait and wait and wait and never hear from the government. Senator, thank you very, very much. Neil, thanks for having me.